This is another episode of Stand Up Comedy, your host and MC, celebrating 40 plus years on the fringe of show business. Stories, interviews, and comedy sets from the famous and not so famous. Here's your host and MC, Scott Edwards. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special bonus podcast for you. This is the first of what's going to be a series uh, bonus podcast for all my listeners. It's called An Audience of One, and we're very lucky to have on the line one of the funniest comedy teams in America. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mac and Jamie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please, please, please. Keep it it going. Please, keep it going. (laughs) What we want to do is share with our podcast listeners some pure funny. Now, you guys, as a comedy team, were one of the best out. You still are the best out there. You've done corporate. You've done TV. You had years at the comedy club. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there's an interview with Mac and Jamie. Be sure to check it out on my podcast series. But right now, the very first audience of one. Uh, how about a couple jokes? Mac, you got a good joke for the audience? I like this when There's an older guy that keeps driving long after his wife and his grown children have begged him to get off the road. Pop, your eyesight's failing. You, your reflexes are slower. It's dangerous out there. You have, well, he can't, he doesn't want to hear about it. No, leave me alone. I'm fine out there. He takes off across town one day and his cell phone rings when he's gone about 15 minutes and his wife, and she's frantic. She says, Fred, please be careful out there. I'm listening to the radio. There's a maniac going the wrong way on the interstate. He says, he says, one, hell, there's hundreds of them. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, thanks, for, that. thanks for sharing that. Oh, that's perfect. Sure. Hey, Jamie, uh, uh, any jokes in your repertoire? Well, I was at the Friars Club once many years ago, and it was when the old guys were around, you know, Red Skelton, Milton Berle, uh, George Burns, uh, and they were all uh, telling jokes to Caesar. Uh, and and one of the guys uh, leaned over to George and said, George, tell a joke, tell a joke. Come on, get in on this. George said, I don't tell jokes. I tell stories. So I'll tell you a story. I, I, I went to my... Uh, urologist the other day, a very attractive young uh, young uh, lady, Dr. Dolores Gupta. And and, 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 and and she said to me, uh, Mr. Burns, everything's fine, uh, I think, but I, uh, you're going to have to stop masturbating. And I said, I'm, I'm almost 100 years old. What are you telling me I have to stop masturbating for? She says, because I'm trying to examine you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that, that's so funny. You're, you're picturing George Burns with this nurse. <laughs> oh, that's a great story. Jamie, thanks so much. Oh, that's hilarious. Sure. Well, as I uh, already told the audience, you guys are one of the funniest comedy teams uh, in America, and you always did such a great job with my audiences at Laps Unlimited. And I remember some of your classic bits, uh, your closer, uh, some of the bits in the middle. But my wife, Jill, has one particular one that she would love to hear, uh, something about a, a mystery box or gift. Can you guys ah, remember that bit? Uh-huh. Oh, good evening, and welcome once again to Guess the Mystery Object. I'm your host. Sir Travis Sixth Beyond Thames, and our panelists this evening are Sir Robert Tipton Knightsborough, good evening, and Princess Anne, hello, and Sir Robert Blathersox, hello there. <laughs> now, the first question comes from Robert Tipton Knightsborough. Is the mystery object? Bigger than a bread box. Uh, judges, can we have a, a decision? Yes, yes, yes. In fact, it is bigger than a bread box. Uh, next question: The Duke of Windsor. Can it be eaten? <laughs> yes, in fact, it can be eaten. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, next question: Princess Anne. 
Give it a horse it's got. Correct. My God. What do I win? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that is perfect. I could see why Jill loved that bit. Is that a horse's cock? Absolutely <laughs> correct. My goodness, Mom. We, we, that's, that's one of the few bits that we uh, did that we couldn't do on the Tonight Show. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and what's interesting is, did you use it on your corporate shows? Because it isn't no. particularly dirty, but at the same time, the imagery is there, and and I know. it's yeah. just hilarious. Great job. No, no, you cannot say horses cock in a corporate uh, <laughs> <cinema>. you know. <laughs> Well, you know, if I ever go corporate, you have taught me a valuable lesson. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh, well, thank you guys for being our first guest on an audience of one. And I got to tell you, this audience member. Love the jokes and particularly yeah. love that bit. You guys are yeah. still as Thank funny you. as ever. Thank you so much. It was Thank a great pleasure. A great a pleasure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have more of these coming up. Stay tuned and look out for that great interview with Mac and Jamie. Mac, Jamie, thanks a lot. Thanks, Scott and Jill. Thank you, Scott. Bye. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Stand Up Comedy, your host and MC. For information on the show, merchandise, and our sponsors, or to send comments to Scott, visit our website at www.standupyourhostandmc.com. Look for more episodes soon and enjoy the world of stand-up comedy. Visit a comedy showroom near you.